Hey, mommy friends, how are you guys doing this morning? I am doing pretty well, um, surprisingly. Isaac did something really weird last night that he's never done before. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> he fell asleep around 8.40, and you know, we took a good nap throughout the day as well. And then around 1, eh, I'll say around 12.30 a.m., he started to fidget around and like move around and stuff. And the older that he gets, the bigger that he gets, the more I am realizing that I don't really have to jump in and like pick him up and put him back to sleep and stuff like that because nine times out of 10, he will do it on his own. So I'm like, okay, let me give him a chance to soothe himself back to sleep. So I noticed he was feeling around and stuff like that, moving around a lot and it just didn't stop. So it was like one, 20 and he was still doing it and he actually started whining a little bit so i'm like okay i gotta get up and get him so i did i got up rocked him stuff like that didn't go back to sleep at all brought him in kiara and i's room tried to rock him tried to do all these things still didn't work <laughs> fed him changed his diaper like literally everything that you guys can possibly think of it was tried like even Kiari got up out of his sleep and tried to help me because my arms were so sore from <clears throat> trying to put him to sleep <laughs> my legs like everything guys because I usually like sometimes if my arms don't work then I put him um, on my knee and try to like bounce him and stuff like that that wasn't even working that's how I knew he was just not going to sleep and when I tell you Kiari and I were exhausted and he had to go to work in the morning so he was just like oh my god so we were both just like, Isaac, please go to sleep, please. But yeah, we tried everything. And then I noticed, because he wasn't like crying or anything. He was literally just like playing. Like he was talking, he was laughing, he was giggling, kicking. Like he was in a playful mood. And I'm like, bro, it's time for bed, okay? It's time to sleep, Isaac, okay? Go to sleep. So we had no choice but to just sit up and play with him until he got sleepy. And he did not get sleepy again until 4, almost 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Kiari and I realized that he was getting tired. So Kiari went ahead and put him over his shoulder and patted him, rocked him a little bit until he went to sleep. It was, it's, it was insane. Like Isaac has never done that. He usually sleeps throughout the night like he does not do that so it kind of threw me off I'm, and then I, I, literally guys I thought maybe it might be a little bit too chilly because it gets a little bit chillier in his room at night so turn the heat on just a little bit you know make sure he wasn't all buttoned up and all that in his onesie <laughs> that boy was not having it okay he just wanted to be awake for some reason but you know what I think I think I think he is starting to teeth or he's in like the beginning phases um that explains what i have on this little cute little teething necklace that i got from target i will link it in the description box below i love the colors on this so cute like i literally wear this with my outfits now <laughs> because the way he gnaws like the other day he was literally just sitting there gnawing on my mom's finger while it was wrapped up in his blanket like I will show that video in here somewhere, but oh my God, like he is really, and I'm realizing like, it's not that he's hungry guys. He just wants to chew on something. So I think that might be a part of the reason why he was just awake and like, didn't want to go to sleep. So I don't know you guys, I, as you guys can see, I already oiled my scalp and redid my twist. They look good today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but to me, like my hair overall just looks healthier. It looks like it's stretching a little bit more too. Like it's long, it's getting longer. My scalp isn't as dry and the twists just look shinier. They look, they're more bouncy. Like, look at this. <laughs> I didn't really um, twist this one up that good, but I mean, they're not supposed to be like perfect anyway. I just, you know, twist them up or whatever, but look at this hair, y'all. Like, it's getting longer and longer. 
and it just looks better every single day it looks better and better and better this morning i used peppermint oil and coconut oil so i used both i used the peppermint oil on my ends and my edgers <laughs> and then i used the coconut oil as i took my twists down and i also put it into my scalp too so there's that i kind of double teamed my hair today double tame double tight oh my god if you guys keep seeing me look down it's because i'm looking at isaac on the baby monitor he looks so cute guys he just looks so peaceful but anyway so this is how much hair came out throughout that process this is how much shedding hair that came out while I did my, while I undid my twist and finger detangled my hair and twisted it back up. I know you guys might probably think like, oh my God, that's a lot. This is not a lot compared to how much it was in the beginning, you guys. It, I should have videotaped it, but I was so sad when I saw it. Like it shook me up, so I just threw it away. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, so this is how much came out and this is after three days of me not touching my hair either so i don't redo my twists every day i redo them depending on you know just the way they look so and a lot of times i don't even redo my whole head so the last couple of days i think i maybe just redid these front two and then the rest of them i left them alone so this is not that bad of an amount of hair for the situation so the fact that i didn't touch my hair for three days they were twisted for three days yeah so i think that's pretty cool that this is the only thing that came out i kid you guys not when i first started this postpartum hair loss journey it was maybe three times more shedding shedded hair that came out of my head and it wasn't after three days okay it was like after one day and it was very frightening so i'm happy this shows that i am making progress my hair looks a hundred times better. I actually put my um, edges up into my um, twists. So that's why they're not, like out, out. But look at it, it's even like filling in even better without me like pulling it out. Like it doesn't look so bald anymore, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope you guys can see the difference. Maybe you guys can go back to some of my older morning mommy chats and just look at my edges like look at my hair overall and I think you'll be able to tell that it just looks so much better like it's just so much healthier guys I love the fact that I have put doing my hair every morning and when I say doing my hair I don't mean styling my hair I mean just doing little things to take care of my hair I'm really glad that I've incorporated it into my mommy morning routine and I'm seeing the results, so I'm really excited. My hair feels moisturized. It doesn't feel dry, like it's about to break off in two seconds. <laughs> and honestly, you guys, it hasn't been as tingly either. I think just, you know, making sure I take these twists out and redo them every so often has helped me a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, my hair overall just looks a lot better and it's, making me happy y'all it's making me happy so yeah i hope you guys are doing well please 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 pray for me as far as isaac's teething situation goes it was a little bit rough the first couple of days that i kind of figured like maybe he was starting to teeth he was just super duper cranky like just crying and just didn't want to be put down like ugh, it was horrible so if this is only the beginning, I'm honestly worried of what's to come. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> oh, this water is so refreshing. I'm feeling like I feel like I ate a meal and I really did. <laughs> Give me some tips, leave me some comments in the comment section below on how to go about this teething situation. My mom suggested getting like some baby or gel. Um, we do have a couple teething toys for him already that we're gonna start giving him. We already have given him this and he has another one that's so cute. It's, it looks like a coffee mug. I will show you guys what it looks like. Um, maybe the next morning mommy check because I don't know where it's at right now. But anyway, so we have a couple of teething toys for him that we know will probably help ease some of that tension on his gums. 
But yeah, mommies out there, please leave me some suggestions on what to do for my baby and for mommy and daddy's mental sanity. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this morning mommy chat. Please don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000. That's what I'm trying to get to. I know I'm going to get there. My subscriber count is growing more and more each day, and it's making me really happy. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for all the support, and I will see you guys on the next Morning Mommy Chat.